Hi guys, my name is Mark Ebinger, and this is the groundbreaking video series, Essential Oils of the Bible. This is part two. If you haven't seen part one, please pause the video, head over to part one. Each of these videos builds on the previous one, so I recommend watching them in order. In this video, I'm going to explain what essential oils are within a biblical context. Essential oils were an integral part of biblical life. They were the main components of incense, perfumes, spices, ointments, and anointing oil. For example, incense containing anica, galbanum, frankincense, myrrh, and other important ingredients was burned daily in front of the holy altar in the golden altar of incense as a pleasing aroma to the Lord. Frankincense was put on top of biblical bread cakes set upon the table of showbread. Holy anointing oil comprised of myrrh, cinnamon, calamus, cassia, and olive oil was used both to sanctify the tabernacle and other important items within it, as well as anoint and consecrate Aaron and his sons as priests. So what are essential oils? Essential oils are the aromatic, vital fluids that are found in leaves, flowers, stems, roots, and other parts of the plant. Plants benefit from essential oils in a variety of ways, such as protecting it from hostile insects while attracting friendly insects needed for pollination. Essential oils act to seal off injuries, prevent infection and water loss, while also aiding in the healing process. These are only a few of the ways plants benefit from essential oils, and it gives you an idea of how diversified they are. Essential oils are very complex substances. Even modern science has yet to identify and explain all of the compounds and constituents found in essential oils, let alone the purpose of the compounds or their individual and collective effects on the mind, body, and spirit of the users. For example, science cannot explain how lavender essential oil can be used to support healthy skin, help you relax, help release emotions, support a restful sleep, and at the same time will attract bees for pollination. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Because of the amazing complexity and botanical nature of essential oils, safe, effective essential oils can only be created by plants. Laboratories cannot replicate essential oils that have the same effect as essential oils from plants. In fact, man-made allopathic versions of essential oils can be toxic and considered dangerous. An example of this is the synthetic version of wintergreen oil, which is potentially lethal. Whereas the botanical wintergreen essential oil is safely used every day around the world for beneficial purposes. If we could visit the Garden of Eden ourselves, we would find essential oils center stage. Everywhere we would go, the air would be filled with the fragrance of essential oils from the surrounding flowers and trees. If we could have visited the Holy Tabernacle, we would have been immersed in the fragrance of essential oils from the burning incense and the anointed priests. It would have been wonderful. And yet we can to this day. As it was in the Garden of Eden, my home is filled with the fragrance of essential oils. People who come and visit often comment that they could smell essential oils as they walked up the driveway to the front door. And reminiscent of the Holy Priests, my wife, my daughter, and I are anointed daily with essential oils. Because essential oils are so important and so powerful, care needs to be taken when choosing their source as well as their individual selection. Not all essential oils are safe to use and not all sources of essential oils take the care necessary to ensure proper quality and purity. Essential oils need to be properly cultivated and distilled as well as chemical free, completely chemical free. A large percentage of the essential oils marketed in the United States are adulterated to lower the cost and increase profit. They were grown using synthetic fertilizers and dangerous pest controls and then contaminated even further with synthetic chemicals to facilitate the distillation process, enhance the fragrance, or extend their shelf life. If you have tried essential oils before and were less than impressed, you most certainly did not use a pure, unadulterated essential oil. These are not found in your local health food store, and they are not cheap. Young Living Essential Oils has been producing pure, unadulterated essential oils for over 20 years now, and they're committed to ensuring their customers get the highest quality essential oils in the world. My family has been using Young Living Essential Oils for years now, and we have been blessed in so many ways that I felt compelled to learn more and then share them with families around the world. If you would like to make essential oils a daily part of your family's life, click on the Get Started with Essential Oils button below. To continue on to the next part of Essential Oils of the Bible video series, click on the Continue button. Thank you for watching and have a great day. You get this beautiful box from Young Living and it says from our fields to your family. And this holds your 11 oils. And you can tell because the box smells great.
So when you open it up, you're going to get this card. It says this kit contains, and it's like a little packing slip of everything that comes in your box. And then you lift this guy up. These are your 10 oils.